okay? Where we already prepped the patient, we brought the patient in, we hooked him up to the blood pressure cuff, the EKG, the pulse ox. So this is where you want this circle to have the pulse right in the center of it. So you want to check all that before you prep the patient. Okay, because after you prep the patient, you don't want to be touching. And even though you have sterile gloves on, you still don't want to be, you know, keep touching here and everything. Okay? So we lay a little tablecloth here. We put some gauze here. We bring everything over. We flush everything on the tray. Which So I'm just getting some heparinized flush in my syringes here. So we bring some of those over so the physician has some to flush the sheath in. We flush the sheath and the dilator, so I'm going to put the dilator in the sheath. And then we're going to lay that there. We'll bring our short guide wire over. And you want to straighten that tip out. We'll bring my lidocaine over. I'm going to fill these up all the way so they can aspirate back a little bit to make sure that they're not in the artery or in the vein. I don't want to inject this right into the, into the artery or vein. So this is the lidocaine. These are typically marked, or you know because you have the needles on, but they're typically marked with stickers where they have red plungers because you don't want to get them mixed up with flush, obviously. Scalpel, penis, that, and needle. So this is all the equipment here. Now your patient generally has legs. <laughs> so everything's, everything's not falling down, not you know always, what I mean? Yeah. No, not always though, right. You know so, patient. yeah. But then the table is pretty much, it's longer. Mm -hmm. And the cath lab, so you have more area to work with. We're going to start with the JL4. So I'm going to load this with our wire. It's better just to have it one circle because they get all tangled up. So you're just going to load this. We have this all twisted up. So all of this is done before the physician's in there, cardiologist? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Hopefully. Hopefully. Sometimes, <laughs> Unless sometimes it's a they come in. in the night or something. Sometimes they come in when you're not ready. Mm -hmm. but it, it really doesn't take long to do this setup. Mm -hmm. I mean, it seems like it would, but it really doesn't. So if they do come in while you're doing it. So I just keep it under there like that, okay? So then the physician comes in, they're going to numb the groin. And they'll go like in a wheel around the site here. If they're nice. Some places start with a smaller needle to go right under the skin, and then they use some places down. So they numb the groin. And then we make a neck. We already have a nick there. And if they want to spread it with the hemostats. And they take their needle, and it's beveled side up like that. You know. And they would go in at a 45 degree angle. Once you see pulsatile blood flow, they advance the short guide wire. They'll hold pressure here. Take the needle out. You would have a sharps container here. I forgot to bring that over. It would be on the table? Yeah, or, one. Yeah, you would bring that over, yeah. and they would throw everything in it. Okay. Now I'm going to let go here just to... You advance the sheath and the dilator, and then you take the dilator and the guide wire out together. Put that back here. So now you have your sheath in place. So then the physician would... Pull back. Now we're going to get air, obviously, because this isn't a closed system. But this would be blood. And then you flush that through. Okay? Mm -hmm. So now we're ready to go with catheter. Just, you might want to move. <laughs> Just because of um, if, if I inject. <laughs> I don't want to get you. So now the physicians going to start with the catheter here and then right as soon as they get the catheter in the sheath you start advancing the guide wire and this is where we would be on x-ray here so we would be watching the guide wire go up the aorta 
over the arch. And once we see it over the arch here, then they're going to advance the catheter. And this, this is what they would do if they were by themselves. So you pin the wire, and they're advancing the catheter. Once the catheter meets the guide wire over the arch, and we're going to pull this out here. So you're going to take your wet gauze here, and just make two loops. Why do you do that? Why do you wipe it off? Because it has blood all over okay. it. Okay. Yeah. And that's the same guide wire you're going to use throughout? Yeah. You use the same one. Yeah. Okay. So now we'll connect our injection device here. And what did I say we always do first? Aspirate. Okay. But what do we do before that? Check pressure. Check pressure. We always check pressure first. So this is connected on the side of the table to the monitoring system. So this is our pressure transducer. So this is how we get pressure. Okay. So I have it on to the catheter, which is inside the aorta, so we're getting AO pressure. So if pressure looks good, now I turn it off, and now I'm going to pull back, and I'm going to flush. And I'm going to go back on pressure, and I'm going to get my contrast. Yeah, never, never do that. Do that. I'm like, oh gosh. <laughs> okay, so I have my contrast. So now they're going to record AO pressure. So when they're finished recording, they'll say finished recording. After you do the flush. Yeah, because you want to clear the catheter mm -hmm. out. Because if you don't, then it could dampen the pressure. Yeah, if there's an air bubble or something in there. So now I'm just going to do a test, which is what. One to three. So I do one to three mls and we see it on the screen if it looks good then we're going to take our pictures okay so then we're ready here take a picture and you do inject like it's kind of hard to inject so you have to really give it some force you go back on pressure you get more contrast we take another picture five to eight mls and you're not watching this like, am I doing five to eight? No, you're looking at the screen, and you know by the force of the injection and the blowback of contrast into the AO, you know how much you need to inject. Okay, so you're not worried about whether you're doing five to eight, but that's the typical injection. So we would do about five to six of those. Okay, when we're done with that, we disconnect. I'm just I'm going to show you over the wire. So this is if we would do over the wire, and you do short little movements like that. So as we're advancing the wire, we're pulling the catheter out. Usually the doctors are nice and they'll wipe it down for you, but if they don't, this is all you would do. So you wipe it off. And you get your JR4. So this is over the wire. So we have our JR4. And now you're going to load it this way. So you're just going to take it on the back end here. And you don't want to advance it until you get wire coming out the back. Okay, so when you see that, then the physician will take this, start advancing it, and now remember the guide wire should be in front of the catheter. Once it gets over the arch, you pin the wire, they advance the catheter. Once the catheter meets the guide wire over the arch, then you can take this out. Now, I keep, I, I'm going up here to hold on to the catheter, to get it, but they're holding on to the catheter for you, so you don't have to worry about pulling it out. Flush. I get that air out of there. We connect here. And what do we do first? Check pressure. pressure. We check pressure, and it's still going to be AO pressure. So we look at the monitor. It looks good. Pull back. 
flush that through. Back on pressure, I get my contrast. And then we're going to do a test injection. We don't need to record AO pressure because we already got it. Okay, so test. It looks good. I'm going to take a picture. Back on pressure. They usually do two to three of the right. Let me take another picture. Now, I'm going pretty quick here. It's just, and the case does go fairly quickly, but when you inject, it just takes a couple seconds and they manipulate, move the camera around to get in another position and then you take another picture. Okay? So we're done with that. We disconnect. Do you check the pressure in between each injection just to make sure that it's the kind of You always want to be want. back on pressure. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So now I'm just going to take this out now instead of doing over the wire. So sometimes they just pull the catheter out. And then you get your pigtail. Gosh, I have these all. I don't like having them in like that. I like mine like out like this mm -hmm. <laughs> so you can grab them easier. Let's see. Now I would have a gown on, so if that did happen, it would be okay. But if it would drop below, you're not considered sterile from the waist down. So, so here's the end there. So I hand this off. This one's kind of hard to get in here. So now remember with the pigtail, we'll do the same thing. Guide wire should be in front, but once the pigtail reaches the guide wire over the arch, then you let go of the wire, because then the physician's going to take both and they're going to manipulate it across the valve into the LV. Once the pigtail gets into the LV, you can take this out. When you have a normal wire, it's easier. <laughs> To wrap it up. We're going to connect to the manifold here. Okay, check pressure. And we're going to pull back and flush. And now we're checking LV pressure. Yep, so now we're on pressure. They're going to get LV pressure. So they'll get LV, they'll get LV EDP. When they're finished recording, they'll say finished recording. And then we're going to disconnect here. And we'll have tubing that goes on. And then the circulator will bring the med rad over. You'll hook up to the med rad, get all the air out. They'll inject the LV. Once you do the LV gram, you disconnect from the med rad. And then you're going to connect back. And you're going to check pressure first again. It looks good. Your monitor will be right in front of you. Pull back and flush. Back on pressure. And then what? What's the last pressure we have to get? I'll pull back pressure. Yep, we're going to get the pullback pressure. A lot of times they let you do this. You just watch it on the monitor. And you just pull back real slow. And you're watching it go from LV to AO and you just lay it down. And then they'll say finished recording. When they're finished recording, you disconnect. And we always take the pigtail out with the wire. Everything gets caught on everything too. And you'll meet resistance with the pigtail. And you just wanna go a little bit past it. And go past it. But when it comes out, it should be like that. So the pigtail straighten. Mm -hmm. Okay. So when you meet resistance, just go a couple inches past it and then you can take everything out together. And that's it. So then you would clean the area here. And the physician again would have been flushing the sheet. They would flush it one last time. I always used to just take this and hook it like that. And I would hold on to it while you pull this back so you don't rip it out. So you hold on to it and you tear this off over top.
-hmm. And then you cover the patient up, disconnect them from everything, and take them back out to the holding room. Good? Yes, sir. Any questions? <laughs>